Alright guys, it's Psycho Red here with just another quick tutorial. I actually wanted to post this out because it seems like everybody's been having some problems and I actually have been having some problems with the uh, GBA for iOS emulator and for the other different emulators that are out that you can get on 9.3 .1, and above. Um, it, it seems like everybody's been having some issues or you're one of the lucky few that haven't been having issues. So I kind of want to just clear the air and make a video on how to go ahead and install uh, GBA for iOS uh, and other emulators on your iDevice and show you how to get ROMs for free. So let's go ahead and get into it. If uh, <laughs> Shout out to actually Dino Zambas and uh, to... Uh, Everything Apple Pro, uh, these guys have been the front runners of these uh, videos on how to get these emulators on your iDevices. I wanted to give those guys credit. Um, for Operation iDroid, uh, if you get a chance to check this out, uh, hopefully this might be a solution on how to fix your emulators. Uh, I noticed that you've been having some trouble and I wanted to see if I can give you uh, some help. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, everybody knows the day trick is if when you set your, when you go into settings, and you go under date and time under general, you can actually close or you can set automatic, you can close set automatic, excuse me, and you can set your device back a couple years and install these emulators onto your iDevice. Everybody knows how to do that. Uh, if you don't, um, all it is is pretty much you're going to the application website. So like GBA for iOS, you would go to their site, download their, um, their emulator in normal time and you'll notice that the emulator won't install. So let me show you how that's done. So when we go to Safari and we go to GBA for iOS app.com, we're going to go and click under download GBA for iOS. It's going to ask us to install. We'll hit install. And when we back out, make sure you back out automatically. And if you notice, I'm going to see if this application does it this time. I've been running tests on this all day and I've been noticing there's been a couple of hiccups. If you notice the emulator, and it's perfect. The emulator, if you notice very closely, look at it if you need to rewind, the emulator didn't install all the way. The actual white bar cut off maybe about a portion or a fourth of the way or a three-fourths of the way, and it didn't install completely. And I've noticed that when it does that, the actual emulator, when you do the date trick and click on the emulator, it won't install, and you'll just be stuck there with a gray emulator. So tap the emulator again or the application I should say, and make sure that it goes all the way. Let's see if it does it again. See how it's closed? Perfect, There's it installed completely right there. So we're gonna hit done. After we've done that, we're gonna go and we're gonna do the date trick. We're gonna go under settings, click back, and for me, I've been hitting up 2009, there's 2014, don't go back to just 2015. Go back pretty far. Like, I've been going back to 2009. There's 2006. We'll do 2005, just for the sake of the video. And we'll tap on the emulator. Give it a second to install. It, sometimes these things take a little bit of time. Um, so what I would suggest is just giving it some time. It may not go right then and there automatically, but just give it some time and it'll install. So as if you notice, it's installing right now and it's completed. So we should see the app and there it is. Awesome, perfect. So when we launch the app, we need to trust it. So we do need to set our date back to normal time. We'll hit go, we'll click back on general, go to the uh, profiles and device management. And it's this China VDI one. We'll trust on that, hit trust, back out, and the application won't work. So what we need to do is go back to the settings, go under date and time, don't set your device back to 2015. It will not work. So make sure, you, again, go back down to, I, if you want to, try testing out different dates. Here's 2010. I'm sure it will work for that. We'll click on the emulator, and it launched perfectly. Great. Perfect. So we need to install games. We can't do that with a device that's, you know, in the past. So, again, we're going to set the automatically back. 
and we'll launch the device from uh, double clicking the home button. We cannot launch the app from the home menu. It will not work and it will not um, open up the application. So once we've opened up the app uh, by double clicking on the home button, we'll click on the glass bar or the magnifying glass to search for ROMs and then you can go to your favorite ROM site and download ROMs from there. So let me show you, let's just tap on GBA ROMs. Let's see here, free ROMs is usually pretty good. We'll download just something simple. And I don't promote piracy. This is one of the actual ROMs that I do have. Let's go back and do that again. There's the fire red version. Excuse me, I, if you do get these um, advertisements, just try a different site. So let's try. Let's try that one more time. There we go. We'll hit direct download, we'll download it, save. Awesome. So it's saved, game's already in there, so we're gonna go ahead and tap on it. And this is the one issue that I am having is the game is showing no video. So I'm going to be doing some tests on it, but let's see here. I've been noticing that it has been sort of glitchy within the, uh, within the video. So I'm going to, let me see here if there's any sort of settings for that. And it may also be because I'm screen recording too, and it won't allow me to screen record while I'm playing the emulator. So it might be just that too. So uh, I'll update you guys on my Twitter uh, if that is the case. But there you go. There you guys have it. There's the GBA for iOS emulator. Uh, I'm going to be doing some tests again with this emulator because it does seem that there are some sort of glitches and there are some sort of... Uh, crashes and, and errors that you might get so uh, I'm running tests all day I'm actually not even at home right now I'm in Arizona visiting family so I'm, I, I might do some tests today I should say um, and uh, if I get some downtime uh, but I'll be spending my time with with, uh, with the family right now. But I wanted to give you guys this video to show you how to go ahead and download GBA for iOS or any other emulator onto your iDevice. Again, make sure that application installs all the way. And if it cuts off ha halfway or a quarter of the way, you'll know that it didn't install. Just retap on the application and it should work. Again, I hope this help you, helps you guys out. For all things Apple Plus, this is Psycho Red here signing off. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your uh, of your weekend. Okay, guys? Peace.